Actually, we may all see snow, but rain was a major challenge for parts of the Pikes Peak region this afternoon, including security wide field. Flash flooding was a concern for drivers at many intersections there, including Main Street and Security Boulevard. That's just southwest of the Colorado Springs Airport. Cardio News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live there monitoring these evolving conditions. Annabelle. Yeah, Bart Heather, you can see these splashes as drivers are making their way through this intersection. The water has just been getting deeper and deeper now, covering the majority of it. And you can especially see where that water covers so high you can't even see the ground. At the intersection of Security Boulevard and Main Street, rain turns to a flood and makes an everyday drive home seem like it could be a ride at a water park. Lights reflecting off the water where drivers should ordinarily see asphalt. We will do preventative stuff to make sure that when it does rain that we can mitigate the impacts as much as possible. The El Paso County engineer understands this is a trouble spot in security wide field, but it's not an easy fix. But if the drainage infrastructure is inadequate, it doesn't matter how clear those culverts or those bridges are, the water is going to be an issue going through there. The county says there's little they can do immediately, but they are working on long term solutions, including an intersection project at security in Maine that will update the stoplights and also address minor drainage issues. And though people here might have grown accustomed to flooding, the county says it's still a problem they should address. Even if they are existing issues, it's always good to help remind us of where those issues are so we can make sure that they stay on our radar. The county is also working on a drainage ditch project to try to improve the drainage here in the area, and they hope that will be ready by winter of next year. Reporting live in security, Widefield, Annabelle Childers, KRDO News Channel 13. So